The Philippines had its own miracle on ice in the last Southeast Asian Games with our ice hockey team taking home the gold. This year, the squad wants to make sure that that gold medal stays here at home. Dahil, galing natin ito. My name is Steven Fuglister and I'm an athlete representing the Philippines. I started playing when I was maybe four years old, so really, really young. And uh, I fell in love with it instantly and I played it with all my friends growing up and then I just stuck with it and now I, I'm here in the Philippines playing for the national team. I met my wife here now, uh, that's, she's the reason I moved here and then uh, we're married now, have a daughter and I've been living in the Philippines uh, for five years now already. Uh, extremely proud, it's, it's such a privilege to play for the Philippines uh, in an event like the Southeast Asian Games even more so because uh, yeah, like the whole country is going to watch and we're, we're going to do our best to represent the Philippines. We have uh, new coaches, we work on our system, uh, we, we trained harder than in the years before. I, I feel that, I feel faster and fitter, so everyone on the team is ready to go. Yeah, well, it's special, right? Because uh, we do something special here, it's something that's not common in the Philippines, and I, I hope the Filipino people can take notice of that. Aside from the, the fact that yes, we're a tropical country, ice hockey is uh, it's a it's a fast and intense sport. Uh, you don't have to be tall, unlike basketball. So, uh, and also, you know, you just have to be hardworking and uh, resilient, and uh, you know, have heart. And the Filipino has all of that. So uh, you'd be surprised what our, our Philippine athletes can do on the ice. We already have some athletes that were born and raised here, trained here that are playing now in Canada, that were drafted and all that, so there's a lot of potential. You know, I'm the oldest one on the team in it. So it's all different ages, it's guys that have been playing together a long time. So we have a lot of young kids, students, professionals, like myself, I'm a hotelier, I work in the hotel business. Uh, we've got all types of people, but we've all been playing together for about five years now. So it's a really, really nice mix of people. We're, we're family. You know, ever since I was a little kid, I grew up here. Uh, we've been part of the Filipino community for a long time, so it means a lot that we get to wear this on our chest. Enjoy it, but I grew up playing ice hockey in the States, uh, so it's good to, after almost 13 years of not playing hockey, to come back to play ice hockey in the Philippines. and. I'm really happy to come here and, you know, I, I had no idea that the Philippine Hawk team was this good and we have, um, you know, a really good chance to win the SEA Games gold medal again this year. So after not playing hockey for so long in my life and to come into a competitive team and be able to put the Philippines on a, on a world map um, has been really exciting. So, uh, and the guys have been really great training together. Uh, everyone's committed every week. Uh, our national team is uh, pretty young. So we don't really have a system yet. So and a Japanese federation came in and uh, they taught us a system. And uh, it's going to be a systematic uh, hockey. That's something that we wanted to do. えっと、ま、ここに来る前に比べると、あの、最初見た時には、結構意外とみんなスケートも上手いし、シュートも速いし、意外と上手いんだなっていう感覚を持ちました。our federation is relatively young, uh, three years now. In those three years, we have accomplished a lot of things. Now we are joining the world championship level, so uh, we're going out to the world to represent the Philippines, not just in Asia. And uh, I think that's a big accomplishment for the Philippines. I think the dream for the future is to uh, interest more young kids to, to join the sport, to, to, to go to the SM skating rinks, uh, skate, join the programs that we have to learn to play hockey and uh, maybe one day we will have uh, more Filipino hockey players. Ako si Steven Fuglister, atleta ang Filipino, galing na dinito. Filipino, Filipino, galing na dinito. This has been The Score. I'm Miko Alili. You can also watch The Score on I One for free. And we'll leave you now with our Milo Sea Games feature. We'll see all of you again tomorrow.
let's win as one at Laban Palace of Filipinas. You know, honestly, I am so, so, so excited, mainly because it's going to be my first SEA Games that will be here in the Philippines. And the support of everyone, they're going to be here, and, and my parents are going to come back here to, to watch me. The main objective of this campaign is to really energize the entire Filipino nation to cheer on Team Pilipinas who are about to compete for the biggest Southeast Asian Games ever, itong ating 30th Southeast Asian Games. Um, pagdating po ng November at December, we have a total of around 9,000 athletes coming from 11 different countries to compete for the entire duration of the SEA Games. So ang role po ng Milo dito is to really convince the entire Filipino nation to go out and pledge their support Napaka-importante po na iparamdam nila ang suporta sa ating mga atleta para po lalong ganahan at galingan sa upcoming SEA Games para maiuwi ang ating ina-aspire na medalya. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat sa mga susuporta sa atin sa dalating na SEA Games. Ang sigaw, ang bawat cheer niyo po ay napaka-importante sa lahat ng atleta. Sana po suportahan niyo kaming lahat na maglalaro ngayong SEA Games kasi po nakaka-energize talaga ang mga sigaw ninyo. Laban Pilipinas, we win as one.